two songs. The song we are about to sing is Bishop's own song. Hallelujah. Alright, let me see your hands up. Let me see. Everybody, let me see your hands. Everybody, come on up. What you're supposed to do tonight is to clap and give Jesus a resounding sound of praise. Shout yeah! yeah. Hallelujah! Now we're going to do a second one. This one you will shout lifting your leg. And you are saying you are bringing all your enemies under your feet. Can you do that? Well, lift your voice and shout hallelujah! Amen. Sit on the heads of your enemies, if you please. My, oh my, what a day. All right, come with me, if you please, to Proverbs. Proverbs 18, 20. A man's stomach shall be satisfied from the fruit of his mouth. And from the produce of his lips, he shall be filled. Death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat its food the father's touch conference and i'm excited because on the mount of transfiguration when jesus climbed upstairs with three of his disciples peter john james they did not meet joshua and elisha in the stead they met Moses and Elijah to let you know that God puts value on fathers. Because Jesus met these patriarchs and these fathers up there, don't forget on the earthly ministry of what is his name? Moses, he had authority over water. He divided the Red Sea into two with his rod. Elijah on his earthly ministry had authority over fire. He commanded fire to come down from heaven. Naturally, you see fire burns up. But in the case of Elijah, he was the only man who was able to cause fire to burn it downwards. You lit a candle, it burns upward. But Elijah was able to cause fire to burn downwards. Man, the guy had power over fire. And because Jesus had encounters with these two patriarchs, the commander and the, the one who had authority over water and fire, and on top of the mountain, the Bible said when he came down from the top of the mountain, right in the valleys, he came to meet an epileptic child who when the attack comes the bible said he is thrown into water and fire because jesus had encounters with people who could control fire and water on top of the mountain when he came into the valley and met a situation to do with fire and water because of his encounter on the mountain he was able to settle this problem in the valleys the encounters you have on top of the mountain determines how you settle problems in the valleys after this conference, get ready. Every problem is going to bow to you. Curses are going to be turned to blessings. Yokes are going to be broken. Burdens are going to be lifted. Shame will be turned to glory. Your test shall be turned to a testimony. Your mess shall be turned to a message. If you believe in, lift them hands and shout like thunder. You can't have encounters with fathers. And remain the same and tonight every water fire situation in your life that when intermittently the attack comes you are thrown into water and into fire I see stability coming you ain't clapping at all somebody clap and shout yes 
and sit down. Let's have a ride. From the story we just read, on the tongue is the power of life and death. He that loved the fruit thereof shall eat it. Three significant things we saw in there. Number one, your words are powerful. Number two, your tongue has fruits. And number three, you determine which fruits you attract into your life. It's a choice. So when I read this, I discovered that when I opened my mouth, I am either speaking life or speaking death. That's why the Bible explicitly tells us that then let the weak never say I'm weak. Because as soon as you say I'm weak, you affirm your weakness. Let the weak rather say I'm strong and let the, and let the poor say I'm rich. When I discovered this, I made a choice. From that day, never once will I use any negative words. In the stead, when I wake up every morning, I tell myself you are the head and not the tail. You are above and not beneath. Goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. A thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand at your right. None of them will come near you with your eyes alone. You will behold the reward of the wicked. No good thing with he will hold from them that love him. This man shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters. He will bear his foot in a season. His leaves will not wither. Whatever he does shall prosper. Eyes have not seen nor ears heard. Neither has it entered into the hearts of man. What God has designed for them that love him. He has revealed them to us by his spirit. His spirit shed in all things. Yea, the deep things of God. I told myself that I would never say any words that will bring me into defeat. Instead, I would tell myself, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil for thou art with me, your rod and your staff they comfort me, the Lord shall prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies am I talking to anybody here after today decide you will never utter any bad word instead you will speak yourself into your blessing because on your tongue is the power <laughs> sit down so words, words are so powerful, Jesus calls himself the word. Check through Genesis, the chapter one, and God said, and God said, and God said, he created the world by the power of his word. And here we are seeing Christians using defeated words. I'm down, broke discouraged despondent depressed ah god never wished once for us to utter negative words like that he wants you to be like job though he slew me yet will i trust him am i talking to you here ah there is hope for a tree after it has been hewn down it will have a, the ability to sprout out and bear its fruit again anybody here who believes your words are that powerful i came to let you know this week will be your best week Every spell on you shall be broken by your words. Can you stand up and shout a mess? I tell three people around you, you are the head and not the tail. I can't hear you. Come on, tell the neighbor, you are the head and not the tail. Say you are above and not beneath. Tell your neighbor, goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life and you will dwell in the house of God forever. Sit down for me. Now be kind enough to tell the one at your left or your right, look at me very well. And better be careful the way you treat me. Because maybe after tonight I may be your boss. <laughs> Uh, hey! Come on, somebody clap for Jesus here. Let me. Words are so powerful that when Moses went before the Lord the second time, that Israel needed water to drink in the desert, 
The Bible said God told Moses, just turn around, don't smite the rock with a rod. Instead, go stand in front of the rock with the elders and speak to it. Unfortunately, Moses did not do that. But God told him to do that, expected that should he do it, water was coming out of the rock like a gusher. So I realized that if words are that powerful, that in them have the ability to cause water to come out of a rock, then I better be careful the things I say. Then I will never look at my situation and say it's that bad. Instead, I will say I'm blessed in spite of the challenges. I will say it is well with my soul. Why? Because water can come out of rocks if I shall speak a word. Decree a thing and it shall be established. Can I preach like I want to preach? Declare thou that thou might be justified. I came to tell some hundred people here that after today's meeting, you will tell every rocky situation that come hell high waters this will be the best year in my life a thousand shall fall at my side and ten thousand at my right they will never come near me with my eyes alone i shall behold the reward of the wicked any witness in the house lift them hands and shout yes words sit down so you realize jesus never once used a bad word the rose of Sharon, the lily of the valley, I'm the way. He didn't say I have, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one goes to the Father except through me. Once they came to tell him that Lazarus was dead. And Jesus tells the disciple he's not dead, he's rather sleeping. Excuse me, Jesus, the guy, they just came to tell you he's dead. In fact, four days had passed. The body by now is decomposed. And you are saying, dead, what are you talking about? Jesus knew that if people are asleep, they will wake up again. That how you address a situation determines how the outcome is. Am I talking to people in the house? Ladies and gentlemen, don't look at your situation and call them by the names they are. If it is poverty, call it riches. Who told you you will not marry? The devil is a liar. This year you shall be wedded. Am I hearing an amen? Ah, whatever you stand this year, God will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Somebody stand up and shout like thunder. Can I finish? He went to Jairus' house. And these sycophants, it's dangerous to keep around spiritual environment, carnal people. They were crying, and in fact, the Bible says they were wailing. Wailing, well. Ajay, boy, boy. And Jesus comes around and tells them that the girl is not dead, he's dead, she's asleep. And the people who were wailing switched and began to laugh split personalities people who can cry right now but will right now and switch oh my God. so what jesus did was that he drove all of them out and said you guys are not qualified to help me or spare me on to do any miracle he moved all of them out and brought in people who believed in his assignment master you got to do your relationships some people you should consciously get them out of your life And they referred to a dead girl as a sleeping girl. By the time the scenario ended, in fact, this girl Jesus claims was asleep, was sitting down eating cozy. Can I now preach? That was the introduction. You check through the Bible, you realize that people in the Bible had a very particular denominator and because of that they put them on a pedestal for instance Abraham and the denominator is that they all knew how to speak positive words in the midst of adverse circumstances one of them is Abraham God tells him in Genesis 22 go and sacrifice your son your only son Isaac on the Mount of Moriah Abraham goes with his son they travel three days rewind typologically God was trying to tell us 
through the Old Testament stories, pictures about the New Testament, that Christ would die and resurrect on the third day. That's why they traveled three days. On the way, he went with two servants to let us know that Christ would die on Calvary between two thieves. The Bible says that the son carried the wood at his back to let you know it foreshadowed in the New Covenant that ladies and gentlemen, Jesus will carry the cross at his back. The Bible says, Abraham told the servant, wait here, I and the Lord are going to worship yonder and return. Why? Because Christ must die and resurrect. And no wonder the child came back, although God said he should die, to let you know that Abraham, even in the Old Testament, 4,000 years before Christ was born, had shadows and pictures of what was going to happen in the new covenant. No wonder Jesus stood before the Pharisees and told them, you are worried about my preaching. But Abraham rejoiced when he saw my day. Why? Because Abraham on that mountain that day saw the Lamb of God, which was slain from the foundations of the earth. Ladies and gentlemen, I came to tell you that this year you have revelations on every side. Lift your hand and shout yes. Shut up. But that's not the revelation. The point is this. Isaac asked the old man, Dad, I've seen the wood. I've seen the fire. I've seen the knife. Where is the lamb for the sacrifice? Abraham was not dumb. The Bible calls him the friend of God. So the guy that smart could have told the son that, boy, the truth is that you are the lamb for the sacrifice. Because God said I should go and kill him. But he looked at the son and said, God will provide for himself a lamb for the sacrifice at the foot of the mountain and by the time they got to the top of the mountain a lamb was sitting there waiting for them now theologically the lamb's horns were caught within the ticket now listen to me you you, you can't hold a goat a sheep a lamb by the horns it would dodge so it meant that it was deliberately put there because when they are when they are being caught you see them caught here but they are on they will touch it so for the lamb to be there meant somebody consciously and deliberately kept the animal dead ah we can go to the theological side that he had to lay down his life but let's put that aside my point is that because abraham opened his mouth and said that a lamb or god will provide for himself a lamb a lamb had to be there because a man had spoken Ladies and gentlemen, what you say at the foot of this mountain will be waiting for you on top of the mountain. This year, get ready. If you say I'm blessed, you shall be blessed. If you say I'm the head and not the tail, baby, you shall be the head and not the tail. If you said goodness and mercy shall follow me, exactly what you said is what is going to come to pass. Can you lift your leg and shout yes? Sit down. So can I finish? Yes. Countless examples. Ruth stands before Naomi, and Naomi tells Ruth and Opa. Opa in the Hebrew means hind. Ruth means beauty. Be careful of people who have bad names. As soon as Naomi told them that return, the one called hind, Opa just didn't even look at why she was told to return. She just returned because she's called hind. But beauty in Tana stood before her mother-in-law and said, Mama, you said I should go, but I have nowhere to go. Your God shall be my God. Wait. Your people shall be my people. Your country shall be my country. Where you die, I will die there. Ah, years after, she was married to the most handsome and most richest man in town called Boaz. Why? Because at the gates and the frontiers of Bethlehem, Judah, she opened her mouth to denounce the gods of the Moabite, the Kemal's God, and make an alliance with the God of the Jewish people and said, from today, I'm not connected to Israel. Years after, the woman who said, your God shall be my God, was married to the richest man. So I realized your words can even get you a fine husband. Hey, this year baby get ready wherever that joker is hiding I see him coming back your amen is not born again stand up and shout yes 
lift your hands and say, I take my money, I take my job, I take my healing, I take my deliverance, I take my prosperity, I take my contact, my connection, I take all my access, stand up and shout, I believe. David stands before Goliath and Goliath said what is the ling ling thing you brought before me he looked at David and despised and disdained him and said this useless boy am I a dog that you come to me with sticks be careful when people are saying watch out this will be my best year maybe they will be standing on some things uh, Goliath thought David was joking and then David looked at Goliath and said have you finished talking Goliath said yes David said you come against me with swords and javelins but I come against you in the name of the Lord of hosts whom thou defiest. this day everybody say this day I can't hear come on say this day this day I will cut off your head and God will hand over your neck to me now watch this the Bible says that when David was saying this he did not even have any cutlass or any sword but by the time the story ended the Bible said the sword of Goliath was rather in his hand and he used it on the neck of Goliath which means that if you suspect the right kind of word God can cause somebody's money to come into your hey! the words of the unjust is later for the just if David spoke and Goliath's sword came into his hand baby you can get somebody's contracts Hey! Sarias! Sarias! Lift your voice and shout like thunder. Can I finish? So that tells me that what I say here before the battle will be exactly what I will get after the battle. Church will wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness in high places. But the good news, ladies and gentlemen, is that before we began the battle, we are declared winners. For in all these things, nay, we are more than conquerors through Christ who loved us. I'm a preaching like I want to preach. I declare over your life that this year you will succeed. You will run through troops and leap over walls. Well, because the matter is settled, Jesus on Calvary said, Kura in the Greek, which means it is finished. Baby, you are a winner. Lift your hand and shout yes. Said that, let me finish. Let me finish. Come on, say words. I can't hear. Come on, Charlie, say words. So, three things words would do if you say them. Number one, Numbers 14 28. God said to Mo, Moses, go tell them that as long as I live, I will make sure every word. That comes out of their mouth, I go do them. Whatever that comes out of their mouth, I will do it. It's a serious statement, though, which means that a lot of you are living what you said yesterday. I didn't see a baby, and we are saying, dinner, gonna break, gonna eat dinner, boys, a break, and I say, Mother, maintain a confession. My name is Sarah Day. Oh, baby, it can't be. Ah, mommy. It's your new energy, new year. Yes, your new energy. Lift your voice and sing at me. Two, four, it's okay. Sit down. You will love music. So let me preach. My time is short. Can I talk? Maintain a confession. Positive confessions. The, 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 the Canaanite woman, no, yeah, the, no, the Shunammite woman had a miracle baby from Elisha the prophet. And 20 years after, the child dies. 
And this woman carried the child, was looking for the prophet to go tell him that what by offering a year, how many would And she was looking for the prophet. As soon as she got to the prophet, the prophet saw her from afar and told the servant, Go ask her, it, is it well with your husband? The woman said, It is well. Huh? Your child just died. He says, Well. Then the servant asked again, Is it well with your child? The husband she could have said it well, but the child, I was not going to be able So, what do you know? The prophet knew. The truth is that the The lady said, It is well. The child. Which means that even in the storms, maintain a comfort. Ghanaians, Ghanaians, it is well with this country. Hey, we will rise from obscurity. We will be the best in this subregion. I prophesy over this nation, whether the devil likes it or not, this is going to be the best year for Ghana. Lift your hands and shout, yes. Let me finish. As I leave, go tell them it shall be given to them just as they said. So, what are you saying? So, from that day, I decided I would say, I'm blessed, I'm anointed, I'm favored. Listen, see to the pastor, tell people twice, it's no problem. When I'm saying it, you don't like it, say, My bush come in, it's my mouth. When I'm blessing myself and you are angry, it is on your head. In fact, me, me fear for me, me fear for me, demo. I tell myself in my mirror, I will see you are the best guy. And I come out. If you have different opinion, it is in your head. Oh boy, I thought somebody would clap here. Somebody. Let me finish. Let me finish. Oh God, it's. Let me, let me finish. Sit down, sit down, sit down. I can't wait to prophesy. Hey, I said, hey. Listen, sit down. I love it when I preach and God confirms his word. You understand? I have, I have a problem with the prophets who don't preach and they begin to prophesy. Because God will confirm his word. So if they are not preaching before the prophets, I don't know what he's confirming. See, that's why I love your prophet. Can we clap for the man of God? Sit down. Number two. I'm, I'm showing you three things when, when, when you speak. Happens. The second one is in Daniel chapter 10 verse 12. You know, Daniel read the books of prophecy. And I'm, I'm here to tell you that every prophecy is a prayer topic. So when you receive a prophecy, don't go and start a in your room and say that where God has spoken, so everything is fine. I'm going to just do my own thing. No, 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 no. As soon as a prophecy comes, all the witches in your family hears it. And they want to launch a missile and attack on it. Now look at all the prophetic children. Parents struggle. Sometimes they were barren for 20 years before the prophets came to fruition. And so every prophetic word is a prayer topic. Israel in the books of prophecy was supposed to be in exile under the leadership of the Babylonian kings for 70 years. On the 68th year, Daniel read the books and realizes that no, we're not supposed to be in this mess after the 70th year. So he organized prayer warriors and they began to pray. It's believed in history that between the 68th and the 69th year, before the 78th year, Israel was acquitted and discharged. To let you know, ladies and gentlemen, that even prayer can fast track prophecies. And whilst he was fasting 21 days and praying and seeking the face of God, my Bible tells me that the prince of Persia held the prayer in the canopies and the terrains of Persia, resisting the speed of the prayer from coming to pass. And so whilst the man was seriously praying and seeking the face of God, the Bible said an angel called Mahana Gabriel came down and said, Daniel, the very day you began to fast and pray, the Bible said, the angel said, I came for the words. That means that as you open your mouth to speak words, angels come for the words. 
so apart from God ensuring that what you say comes to pass angels also make sure that everything you say also angels come for those words am I communicating ladies and gentlemen which means that if I say die angel of death comes around if I say divorce angel of divorce comes around if I say shame angel of shame comes around that's why in Psalm 103 verse 20 the Bible said the angels of God excel in strength by the power of his words when we speak the words angels excel and begin to act and so some of you angels are weak because you don't quote any scripture So when we speak, angels come for the word. Let me quickly bring in a balance so that we can just understand from the new covenant perspective. In the Old Testament, men pray like Daniel Dems and angels had their prayer. In the New Testament, no demon can hold your prayer. Because when you speak in tongues, you speak mysteries and nobody can even comprehend to hold it. So no prayer warrior should use a topic like, as we are here, demons are here, they will swallow a prayer. No demon, when they try, um, they will blast. <laughs> Let me that one. But the point is that when I pray and speak words, angels come for the word. If this is it, then the person will be one not cussing. Angels are coming or oh, say, say it. God is listening to you. Say it. Cause I feel way, I'm afraid. I feel way. Bon sample, one po, me, me, yen, shira. A punabia will say, be a bit be a yes to Christ to Timo. The last 10 words does, Mark chapter 11, sorry, the verse number 20. Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem, and then they saw a fig tree sitting by, looking very blossoming. So he ran to it, only to discover that the thing looks very nice from afar, but when he got closer, it did not depict exactly what it used to be. I mean, it depicts from afar. Now, they, they have the archaeological exposure to read. Israel in those days were looking very nice and shepherd, as if they were so religious. You go to them, bon, kan, 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 yam, so he had to curse it to let them know that if you continue in this, your mess, Abraham is my father, Moses is our father, Dumemo. he was trying to use the tree typologically to explain to them that that is going to be their state if they don't stop the rubbish. But my point is that May you never be so nice as a sister, so cute, immaculate, from afar, and when he marries you, you look like a witch. <laughs> Can I talk to the guys? May you not look so handsome, so nice, very educated, a PhD older, and he, she marries you, and you are like a wizard in the house. I thought my girls would clap for me here. Jesus cursed the tree with a word, pronounced the word that nobody eats fruit from you from today. They went to Jerusalem 24 hours later, and when they were coming, the Bible said, You know, Peter, Peter was saying, Come on, he said, Can I am back on on pair off? And to Peter, one of Peter called, he said, Diana, yes, she come and say, No, so say, Yes, I try for one. And when he went, he saw that the tree had withered from the roots. So I discovered that when words are spoken, they go straight to the roots of issues. After Jesus cursed the fig tree, if anybody had come there, maybe five minutes or ten minutes or even two, three or seven hours after he had spoken, they would have thought that what Jesus said had not come to pass. But 24 hours time, they came and the thing had waited from the roots, which means that when you speak to situations, they physically may be standing, you think that they are standing, but in the spirit, the roots have been attacked. So tonight, any word you will say over any situation, I won't be surprised you go home and the problem will still be there. Hey, spiritually something has attacked the roots. Give it only 24 hours. And the Egyptians you see today, tomorrow, but this time you shall see them no more. Somebody shout hallelujah. Finally, because words are that powerful, strike the keyboard. Fathers knows how to do it.
tongues don't have in them the ability to speak over, over destinies. But fathers and people in those days understood this. So when Isaac said to his firstborn, Bring me furnishing and let my soul bless you. Venison. And the Bible says, such as I love, emphasized. Jacob and Rebecca were ready to kill, to grab words that were cut. Initially, I thought it was a paycheck they were going to sign. Words, to the extent that when Jacob did well to, take, to have taken it, the Bible said the other brother came and said, ah. <laughs> Words speak over this little blessing. And the old man said, Boy, I said I've blessed him, and yea, he shall be blessed. Can't you understand what I'm talking about? Words have gone, and I can't retrieve them. So then, a father can pronounce a word over contracts, ministries, businesses, health. And heaven go hold down. And this will be irretrievably released. So if this is it, then tonight I can speak on every dry bone. And dry bones will come back to life. In your finance, in your account, in your marriage, in your business, in your ministry, in your health, in every aspect of your life. Yeah. Lift your hands and say, I receive it in the name of Jesus. Let me finish. Sit down, sit down. So Joseph hears that the old man, Jacob, was sick in his dead bird. And he carries Ephraim and Manasseh to the old man because he knew the significance of words through blessings from a father and brought the cage before the old man. Manasseh at the right of the old man, Ephraim at the left of the old man. Now Manasseh the first born, Ephraim the, the last, the second born. And so naturally, the one who is due for the blessing of the Abrahamic blessing of the old man is supposed to be at the right so that he can transfer. But the old man did this. In theology, the son of the cross. All right? So under the cross, destinies could be shifted. And crosses his hands on both of them. And tells the two of them what is becoming of them in the future. And he said, today, I lift the two of you, grandsons, and I adopt you like your uncles, Simon and Reuben, and lifted these grandsons to becoming sons. So their lives were fast-tracked. So a father with an oil who can speak under the unction can lift up grandsons and make them sons. Am I in the right church? That tells me that tonight I can let the things that be not become as though they were and call the things that are far to come near and I can let what you are supposed to have in 20 years you will have it under the anointed in two days anybody who believes the God of Joseph is in the house within 24 hours a prisoner is becoming a prime minister lift your hand and shout the ass today come and do a miracle 
a miracle today. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle working God. Somebody lift your hands and say, Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle. We nanka one more when some na effect. I saw na head. The miracle working God, your name is Yah. Oh, Emma, take three steps and do two. It's okay. Within three months, God will enter your house and peace will come. See that? What's your husband? Huh? He's in the country, but I don't know where he is. You don't know where he is? I'm standing right in front of him. Oh. I'm standing right in front of your husband. He's even telling me that you have a son with him called Hiram. Mm. Right? Oh, you no call for a chunya me. Yeah, I want you to stretch your hands on our precious sister. Hallelujah. Say hey. Stretch your hands on our sister. The Bible says if two of us here on earth shall agree on any matter. It shall be done for us. We are praying that God anakazo dema to come running. You took three steps within three months. So that you will laugh with the testimony. Do you believe with your God all things yes. are possible? Somebody said yes. Yes. Say, my father, my father, my father, my father, as I lift up prayer, as I lift up prayer, wherever the husband is, wherever the husband say, is, we pull him back, we pull him back, say, peace, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Do you believe it's done? We all believe. Hey, mama, your son is he here? He will be a preacher. Are you aware? Yeah. Yes. You have a witness. You'll be a medical doctor and a preacher man. Amen. Somebody shout yeah. Next year, Jamelia will be wedded. Somebody stop! Oh, What is your name? Jamila Tu Sayidu. Huh? Jamila Tu. Jamila Tu. Do I know you? No. 
Can you clap and shout? As a prophet of God. Yes. Are you married? You are not? No. By Easter, yes. it's in the beginning because we hold big wedding now. Yes. Prayer palace for a baby. Yes. Fountain gates for a baby. Yes. And I saw Valco Company, they were also coming. Well, Student. I work with Valco. Put your hands on our dear sister. Shay, I feel we. Valigoza dis to Prahai. Zongo liga grede brafu se frente kra. Break. Who speak it and it come to pass when the Lord has not commanded it? Now, because I am mandated by heaven, I speak over your life. Break. Let us by Easter. I see a tall, fair colored, mustached man. It is done. Stand up for me. Stand up. Can I have just a little oil? Just on my finger. Bring your the finger for wedding. Kefrehese. Shipotali Akita. Grosso Frosso Frente Kra. Janeti Mami. The spell on your family cannot access your own case. Because you have a different covenant with a different promise. Mami Look at me. Look at me. Ochina. So white, white bow, pure white. And for black being treated to him, no one could say, I mean, you know, white. Oba me, me no best hour before I preach. You are gracious. Sit down. Oh, you are not clapping. Sit down. Oh, you are not clapping. Mike say, Mike say, say, Mike say, Mike say, 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 say something, Mike say, some sound, sound. Um, Obi Antony, some share, mommy. Obi, I mean, who say, I sent a team for baby Jenny Rimwa. Fakwan Bremen, Ufri. Ufri. I sent a team for you. I sent a team. Oh, what is this? You are great, yes, you are. Oh, you are. Good, good, hey. You walk upon the sea, you raise the dead. Get the dead, yes, you are. You made him my just my God. Everything, 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 everything. Yeah. Shit. 
you want crying speak this road that as an dear team for pedem will come her oh baby you feel come up here may the blessing catch fire fire we're going to do two topics number one stretch your hand towards the Asante team for people listen say fire three times fire fire Fire. Say as I clap and I pray. As I clap and I pray. Any witch from Asantia Church. Any witch from Asantia Church. Against our brother's life. Against our brother's life. Say Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Come on, begin to pray. Begin to pray. Holy Ghost, fire, fire. Fire, 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 fire,
from Ende. Amen. Listen, don't joke with the anointing of my life. This thing is transferable. You are not clapping at all. Listen. So this same anointing can tell the sister you won't see poverty again. And that word will come to pass. Yes. I am all touch. Come on, you Lord, Lord. Are you ready for financial breakthrough? Yes. Tonight, Michael. any door that is closed, I command it to open my fire. Every financial door, I command it to open in the name of Jesus. Every financial door, I command it to open in the name of Jesus. Every business door, I command it to open in the name of Amen. Jesus. Every door that is closed on your health, I command it to open in the name Amen. of Jesus. You will carry your money. What people do, they don't succeed. You will do and you will succeed. Because the prophet of God has spoken. Sick recently, huh? Huh? Yeah. Yes. You nearly lost your life. Very. Yes. Yeah. Because you won't say where your project be. Yeah. Now, obey coach in a gate. Now, no, they are there pitting on them. Say so you can't complete it. You can't. But me, me say, what your hands has become, the same hands are complete. Amen. Amen. Can I say this on you? Anything your hand will start. I said this year by 31st December, it shall complete that project. You won't die. Can you imagine? The best thing is after you and your wife. And we say, then I go with Juma Menenam, Denmark, and Bazo, baby, sir. Where do you connect to Denmark Embassy? Yeah, advice. The business side. Yeah. Opposition you be The person wants to take you up, take away your wife, take away your two boys. You have two children? Two boys. Two boys. Two boys. Hmm. Say no weapon. No weapon. Oh, prayer palace, I win together. No weapon. Say no weapon. No weapon. Against my life. Against my life. Shall prosper. Shall prosper. Say every tongue. Every tongue. That will rise. That will rise. Against me. Against me. In judgment. In judgment. Shall die by fire. Die by fire. I cover you, your wife, and the two boys. I'm in front of an uncompleted building. Asiano is completed. Mm -hmm. And I went in, in the spirit. Now, I said, wooden. Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. And then I went in. The steps is at the left. Yes. And I climbed. Yeah. And I saw a very big screen. Yeah. And then I moved in. And I sat down. And when I sat 
down. I saw two angels in your house. And they were very angry for the fact that somebody came to plan that thing. And I heard them said, because of your generosity towards the things of God, they will not allow Dorcas, even if she's dead, to be buried. Oh, you don't know the story about Dorcas? No way you do some things for God, God will let you lose your life. Never. Some of you are alive because of your generosity towards the things of God. Lift your hand and shout. Office, I tidy up the table. Was no papers be brother in Ah, oh, you are Oh, you are Give me oil. Give me oil. Crazy for God, man. Limbro Kosagidi Adiba Zibronda Gradidish Tataya. Cover you and your wife and your children. I surround you with the fire of God. And I declare you and dine on Torchable. Um, hey, lift your hands up. Um, there are some young men and young ladies. Be, I saw the oil on me coming on your head. Some of you will prophesy after today. Some of you will be dangerously anointed. Some of you will speak and things will happen. Some of you will move in miracles, signs, wonders. But the count of seven is coming on you. Father, take records. Anybody expectant, let the expectation never be cut off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, come on. Ten. Oh, just bring them as they fall under. No, no, no. I want to touch their eyes. Holy Ghost. Hey. I am a shame in here, no. Titi, bring me. Missy, who you own your me? Na enesu, who you own your me? Na woda so ye, oh na me, oh sa. Peja one seven, you go to the mommy seven. Everybody, peja your hands. Missy, Titi, bring me. Eje, who you own your me? I know you own your enesu. Messi woulda so yeah Oh Shurimini ane sonne Ikkolo wo sibiri ane sare Hey ya kopa tatataya Akeli tatabalia Fresh fire Hey Lift them hands up Wouldi mini ane se pali mamo se kele mama yane Woulda so yeah I release the anointing. Lift them hands up. Come on, wherever you are. You only be the case of Felimini and Ononani and Kaya. The rest you sit down. The rest you sit down. Lift this woman up for me. Lift her up for me. How many kids does she have? See that you have a child? Huh? You have a child? Where is your child? She is in the house. Can you bring her tomorrow? I would like to touch her because the devil wants to give her the stomach problem. And the thing is worrying her. It was on you and they won't transfer it to her. But you are free. Touch! Oh. Counselor Lutrot, why is it that you have a lot of lovers but they want some power, some crassa? Why? And you are such a nice person. I was watching you in the spirit when God showed me that you were the one sitting, sitting there. But you see, they don't know what I said. What? There's a man who said, I'm going to tell you what I said. I'm going to tell you what I said. Such 
a fine gift. Give me oil. Let me pour it on his head. But uh, my son, first tomorrow, when he says, he says, I am turning on this until year to fall. Me boy, come here. I drew three one man now. Okwa do a KFC in Nadi. Can I continue? Continue. But I'm in your office. I have tidy up your office because angels can visit and papers and uh, too much on the table. So work on me. What? I lose favor. Ha! You are covered, oh. Don't forget to take my mantle. I'm giving you a mantle. Okay. God bless you. Let's clap for Jesus. Bring them one by one. Let me touch them. Let me touch them. Let me touch. I bless you, son. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you. When I touch you, you can go back to your seat. Ha, ha, ha. Prophet Emmanuel I had a vision last night. I had a vision last night. Who are these? Were they here? Have they been coming? They've been coming. They've been coming. Because I had a vision last night that I was praying, and in the spirit, the Lord carried me to a certain group of people in the auditorium, and I saw a healing. And my tears here. So I was following the spirit just to obey the direction. And then I came here. Then the amen. What's it then? Oh, I'm not dear. Oh, I'm not dear. Oh, i can we clap for Jesus? Ah! I was. Oh, this your clapping is poor. Yeah. I was before the Lord in the spirit praying for the conference, and the Lord carried me to this auditorium. And I saw in the spirit, said, Ah, I said, Yeah, the for Biaba. But I've not been here since the program began. So I was following the spirit to be sure if that was exactly what I saw. And the thing carried me and I saw exactly where they were sitting. That is it. Oh, yeah. Hey, Maza. You probably did not want to change. Obapa, Kusta, Kusia, and Song. Kusia, Kusia, never for your day. Egg. Seven expat, they are shiver. Please come. Who invited you, sir? Come, please. Who invited him? Oh, he's here. Are you married? Are you married? Yes. Where's your wife? She that come here. Wedding kuni. Wedding kuni. Nimo chan wedding kuni. How are you? Hold his hand. Nimo chan wedding kuni. Man. I bless Mama and Dada. And I cover them. Cafe Sogaha. Cover them. Any spell on them. Whoever from wherever 
for whatever reason, today I revoke the spell. Sit down for me. That's all. What's that say? Oh, one more one. Sir. Me moja no atse uye mo. Me ba me bomba. Oh, monsieur Bonisha. Na na do swati eko. Ye de de kesi na me ishwa de. Oh, 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 I don't know for how long. I don't know. Three months. Bet three months. Three months. But in whatever program. Do you believe God can touch this woman? Yes. Ah, I don't know why it's there. Can you? Yes. Father Berman, I'm ready. All of you stand up. Let's see what God will. Quickly, quickly. Stretch your hands on them, please. Where did come here? Where did come here? Nimo John, where did come Can you stretch your hands on them? Let's sing where did come it's a wedding calling. Let's take it again. I can't hear you enough. Wedding calling. Imojan wedding. For the last time, you see wedding. Wedding calling. I want us to pray just one prayer. Father, heal her. That's all. Heal her. Over the years, I've walked in strange signs, wonders. And I give all the credit to God. But if we can close this service, bringing smiles on this poor lady. That will be the real Father's Touch Conference. Ah. Now lift your hands up. One will chase thousand, but two will put ten thousand to flight. In this agreement, we are praying that Father show mercy. Yes. Help them, heal her, deliver her. Yes. Can you lift your voice? Just talk to your God. Yes, Lord. Strike Father, the keyboard. Thank Strike you. the keyboard. Thank you. Thank you for healing. Heal this woman. Heal this woman. Heal Somebody this little woman. boy swear to heal, heal this woman. woman. Heal this woman. Heal, heal, this woman. heal your daughter. Let oh God the testimony begin. Let the miracle begin. Let the miracle begin. Let the, miracle begin. Let the healing begin. Yes, heal. Heal. You are more than able. You are more than able. Heal. Heal. Let's take it again. Heal. 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 Oh, who no cry? Now say, who can cry? Oh, who no cry? Oh, who cry? Church, can you see the tears of a blind woman? Can we pray for her? Father, start. Father, we come here speaking English and close for people like this to suffer. If you can touch. Then Mali Agisopala Kendeli Atai. We will lay our hands on the sick and they will recover. I stand in the name of Jesus and by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, break. Can you lift?
lift your hands and thank God in advance. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. This is faith. Lift your hands and thank you. Thank you, Lord. Let His power be raised. And let His glory be seen. Thank you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We celebrate. We thank you, Lord. Thank you for this miracle. Let us burn up. Stretch your hands here. Father, I spoke about words. And these were from scriptures. Backed with the oil. We come close with our sin our sister healed. And until we Jesus Christ on Nazareth, total healing for our sister. You devil of blindness, come out in the name of Jesus. Afijanism, live it. Mama, show me. Show me. Umadi. Umi. Jesus prayed for a blind man and asked the man, what do you see? The man said, I see men like trees. He prayed again. Mother, that's my faith. Yes. Otherwise, all these things we are doing is a lie. God must do it all. Some of you came in cars. It's your point you drive away. How can she walk home? Oh. Stretch your hands on her. Are you tired? No. Shut fire three times. Fire! 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. Foul spirit. Stretch on. Agree with me. Ba, ba, ba. Now. Break. Yes. Man in the house. Break. Yes. Peter, the beer, mommy. Give me water. Give me water. Police. Prayer, police. Give me water. Although of this will be my last thing I would do. Can you thank God in advance? We give the praise. Oh. We give. Ume. Hey. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. I can't believe 
Oh, you guys are tired of me. Oh. Sit down. Hey, can I prophesy? Professor. Somebody said the father's touch. The father's touch. Today I lay my hands on you in the spirit. Oh. And I command your heavens to be open. Amen. May the Lord lift you and favor you on every Amen. side. May goodness and mercies follow you. Amen. All the days of your life, lift your hand and shout yes. Yeah. So now let me finish. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Let me finish. Let me finish. I'm coming. Listen. Mm. Deep. I was this is what I, talk, I, I say Christianity huh? when it's not only about us but about people like this I release the healing it's done amen I'm going to say amen but when you say I'm going to say amen but when you say I'm going to say amen but when Oh, you are not happy? Ah. This is it. See? Can I bless you? Huh? Can I bless you? Bless you. Can I bless you? Bless you right here. Bless you with the name. Bless you with what? Who is Eugene? Eugene. Oh, we have got two men. We are maybe trying to crowd us. Ah, how many drop here? Go to the music. Hey, let's go. We are so cool. Kitty, kitty, boom, brass, kitty. Is your uncle? Yeah. Open it. Come board the man in the view. Let's go be a prophet and see me. The man in the view is the Bible. Right now, China latest Bible. It is. It's a Bible. No more sad. No more sad. No more sad. Or political. No more sad. No more sad. Paul knew how to handle certain people. Meja ya nusa, ati mani mbe mbe. Ati ya nkani. Kwa wunani die, wunye politician, ti meja ya mawe. Tena wanza upeni su mame. Wanka amen kurao. Stretch your hands. Maybe I was here doing name, but as we are praying for our brother, may the Lord release you with Jesus. Jacob was holding the heel of Esau, even in the womb. Anybody holding your heel, ka siputa, vreso prenketelete, peja ni biem, she, ya unguwa wana kurao, omo de Sandra na emu. Who is he? See that? Can you imagine? Omo sana de Douglas na emu. Your son. Mas a missão como na boa missão. Sure. It's a joke. It's a joke. Leave that for me. Kaliba Zabaya. Hey. I break the hand of that wizard. Masa. 
Shawiro is Shawiro ya Mungu. I don't know who the person is. When him lakono, I won't go deep. Shawiro in Delhi only for a year and a half and be smart and arm yourself and take charge. Learn all the experiences you can learn from him and take charge. To some of you, I'm speaking in parables. I bless you, Jim.